What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another RuneScape highlight video. I actually just recorded this, and the recording failed. I got the, the entire thing, and it's fine. It's only like 10, a little, it's like 10, 13, 11 minutes. How long is this video? Just like 12 minutes? Whatever. Um, okay, I, I did a bunch of achievement diary stuff here. <laughs> so all these clips you're seeing are actually before the stream, because between the last video I uploaded, the highlight last highlight video, I also um, uploaded a... Uh, I did some other stuff off screen between <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm doing agility right now because uh, the more agility you have the better for running around um, I, My goal is 35. I really want to go for 40. I was like ah, 35 is fine <laughs> um, So and then I decided I, I wanted to make it a goal for me to get myself more food for something Because really combat's kind of at the end of the day what you really want in this game, right? So I started making my way to get like level 30 fishing was my goal here so I could fish um, Salmon because I was using tuna food but that's a little it's feeling a little weak i also got through to total level there which is nice wow i got a lot of bubbles in this video actually and yeah it's a level like 29 cooking i believe it g gave me the ability to go back to lumbridge and ask for more advice from the tutorial guy which i thought was really weird <laughs> it's like you think at this point like you don't need tutorial stuff anymore but anyways there you go level, level 30 for salmon perfect i'm gonna start reading everything um, I'm just gonna kind of do highlights here. Uh, Chef's Guild. I'm still gonna show it all on screen, but I'm probably gonna stop, you know, saying reading everything because it's, you know, if, it's there if you want to read it. The achievements are there. Uh, we got the ability to go on the Chef's Guild at I believe 32 cooking, 33, something like that. Um, there's a lot of these in the game. It's kind of like, oh, you, you're, you're amazing at the skill. You can now go in here. The angler outfit's another thing. I had no idea what that was. It actually boosts your uh, experience in fishing. But the Chef's Guild, um, by far the easiest skill. Here's the stream highlights um to get into uh it just really it's just there's there's some cooking related activities in there you could do that don't really do a whole lot but there. uh there we go i did priest and prowl which i really wanted to do i cannot wait to stream this game to do this so i could get to the slayer master in here slayer master is also boost my prayer up to 14 which unlocks three new prayers i think because i went from like eight or something to 14 um so which increases my magic attack my defense as well as my strength um so five percent magic ten percent uh defense ten percent strength um in that order <clears throat> uh, priest and pearl also like unlocks like the entire like southwestern eastern part of the world which is a big chunk i uh, also did druidic ritual which unlocks the herbler skill i uh, don't really have any plans like short-term plans of working on the skill but it's there for whenever i feel like working on it it also gave me level three which unlocks attack potions which actually i should really i should really do that to be honest come to think of it because i should really start using potions because those are very helpful in um uh doing combat stuff dang well, why am i just thinking about this now i have the ability i can do it and then i also started fletching um fletching is a very easy skill it's literally you uh use a knife on wood and then you make bows and ammo and stuff okay you can check this shit out i got so mad at this I got 26 magic here right and then this guy smacks me and kills me See, it's kind of annoying because you use magic because this guy's like a level 100 something, right? So I, if you shoot him from far away with like magic or arrows or something, he'll die. Um, I did the gnome village quest, which unlocks uh, transportation here. Um, you can crawl on trees and they transform you around the world. Only five locations though. One of which being the Grand Exchange. So that is actually a very nice one. Um, but anyways, so yeah, uh, what happens when you shoot that guy from far away? If you stand out of the range of where he's allowed to wander around, he'll lock, the AI will kind of like glitch out a bit and you like walk backwards and stuff. Everything does that in this game, not just him. And so you always have to like walk back and forth and like where he could hit you and then he, he hit me and killed me and I was very mad about it and... <laughs> Thankfully, I was able to make it back and grab my stuff. There's actually someone around the area, so I thought for sure they're gonna take my stuff, and thank God they didn't because, I mean, I didn't lose too much money. Uh, what I'm doing here is actually looting. This is the player killing world, and um, from what I've heard, it's like looting is actually a pretty nice way to make money. I've never done it before, but so I was like, let's let's go try it out. Let's see what happens. Um, uh, spoiler, I did it for around 15 minutes and gave up because it is kind of luck based. If people leave a bunch of stuff on the ground and then you pick it up and it's like, oh, I got really lucky. I got like, you know, 100,000 gold, but I got like, I think it was like, I don't know, like 2,000 gold or something just from doing this. And it was just, it's really kind of just annoying because there's a lot of people. And then this guy walks up to me because I'm actually in a, a world specified for a game, mini game called um, Bounty Hunter. Um, which uh the game assigns you something to go kill and the you know whoever wins gets like a point essentially right they get like prestige and such 
So this guy asked me to sell uh, my kill to him for 50,000 gold, which I probably could have done, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't, and that, that's it for the stream. So now we're back to all this. I could have probably done... Uh, I felt a little bit cheaty, but it's really only 50,000 gold. Like, like, I, I, like I keep saying, it is kind of fun to be broke in these games and like kind of work your way up from nothing to something without getting like help like that. But hands out. I probably could have taken that. Oh, yeah, and the game wants me to kill dogs here. Uh, here's an achievement diary for walking to the desert, walking into the desert, and then using a magic carpet, <laughs> which is another form of transportation. <laughs> yeah, the game wants me to go kill dogs, which is really weird and... I don't know, man. So it's, like another thing I talked about this last video, the the game wanted me to kill dwarves. It's like, why are you asking me to kill these humanoid creatures? And it's not like you know they're evil or anything. It's like, no, these dwarves are like they're good. You, you, you do quests with them later, and you help them out and stuff. And they're they're nice lads. So it's like, wh why? <laughs> it feels weird, man. Um, I also upgraded the black armor here. Uh, I didn't bother showing myself buying it on screen. It's kind of whatever. I could have gotten Mithra, I believe, twenty. I don't know why I didn't do that to be honest. Probably would have been a smart idea. Me throws kind of like a decent armor set up, so uh, not have the ability to kill cave slimes, which I don't know. I, I don't remember if those do anything. Last time I was this low level, I've actually never been this low level for um in, in pay to play, um because I used to have a free account and then I got told to kill 59 bears, so I never really ex I'd never really experienced this like low level part of the game with uh with a, with a um, paid account, pay for account. So I was really like. Kind of annoyed at having to do this bear task at first because I thought it was, it was gonna suck, uh, but it turns out to actually be pretty okay money for uh, someone as low, just, so, as low of a level as I am. Um, I kill rock slugs because they drop bear furs and uh, bear meat, which actually sell for a decent amount. I made like a decent amount of money from that, enough to keep me a fruit. Also upgraded to, to an adamant uh, skimitar, which is pretty nice. Uh, I got told to kill 45 banshees. So these things are kind of annoying to kill. Also 375 total level there. Um, you also got an easy achievement of diary task for killing a banshee. These things, while they attack with melee, they actually, it's like magic based. And um, so I need ranged armor. It, it's kind of weird, I know, because ranged armor resists magic attacks. So I decided I need to get my ranged up. And the best way to do that would be go to mine 100 copper and tin. I also have the ability to throw pickaxe now, which I went and bought. Um, uh, I decided to go make a hundred copper or bronze bars to change into knives. I also got a achievement diary here for mining some iron ore. I, I'm really annoying that I keep accidentally doing these achievement diaries since I had planned to eventually just do them all at once, but I keep doing them by accident apparently, just by playing the game naturally. Um, so yes, yeah, so I made a hundred bronze bars, a uh, hundred tin, hundred copper ore, spelled them all together, started making, um, I believe it was 500 knives I ended up with, which I had planned to get to level 20, um, uh, a, a, a range, which I was kind of a little bit worried I wouldn't have enough, uh, stuff to do that with, but it turned out to be fine, and you'll see, in fact, I believe I only used around 250 knives, so it was actually wasn't even like, you know, I was, it, it was fine, it was great. It was wonderful. The reason why I'm going for 20 range is because of 20 range you unlock some um, ranged armor that will resist magical attacks that those banshees will hit me with. Improved reflexes. Oh yeah, I still got a couple prayer levels here apparently, which boosts my attack by 10%. Wonderful. Good. Goodness gracious me. Um, oh yeah, the clue scroll here. So uh, these are kind of cool. A lot of monsters drop these clue scrolls that they go from easy to medium to hard to elite to a master, I think. I, I don't know. The elite and master weren't in the game before. There might even be another tier somewhere in between all those as well. Uh, there we go, level 20 in range. Uh, which gives me the ability to use all that armor I circled there. Uh, so the clue scrolls are essentially treasure hunts. You, you, if there's a clue on it, I go to wherever it tells me to go, and then we do the puzzle, and then we get another hint to where to go next, and eventually it gets you to a secret treasure chest, which gives you uh, unique loot. Sometimes very good loot, sometimes really poopy loot. It's all random, you see. Um, so then, yeah, my goal here was to uh, get salmon. Did I say that already? I'm sorry. Like I said, this is the second time recording this, so it's it's real confusing for me because I don't know what the hell I've said when I have it at this point. <laughs> Uh, there you go. So then I went and killed these banshees. Um, and I'll kill these These banshees look so stupid, I swear. Did I say that? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't remember what I said. Uh, so, oh, there we go. 425 uh, total level. Yeah, like I said, we've got like, over 100 levels for this video. That's crazy, man. Uh, at some point, we'll get to the point where we won't be so heavy. Uh, 61 Earth Warriors. These things suck to kill so much. There's level... 51. It's like I can't. I'm like level 30. Something. I can't fight these assholes. Also, there's another like achievement diary I did by accident. Um, I started collecting these eggs. You have to get five for the achievement diary. There. There we go. Perfect. 
I literally picked them up because I thought that they were worth some money. Uh, they turned out not to really be worth a whole lot of money. I also bought a, uh, a an axe here, a battle axe, since these earth warriors are weak to crush. Um, this turned out not to be... Uh, I'm too low level to really do that. I also came back to these Chaos Druids, even though I wasn't assigned to them for Slayer, um, because they drop herbs, and I desperately need money. So, I decided to come here and um, kill them. Ooh, kill them. And with that, I get 54,000 gold, which I was pretty happy about. Um, 20 magic here, which... Did I unlock? Teleport to Lumberjet? I don't know. I get, a char I get a teleport spell here in a second. Is this it? Nope. Cool. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Chris confirmed for idiots. Leave all your stupid Chris.com comments in a dump. Blah, blah. <clears throat> uh, anyways, here's 25 Slayer, which kills Cocox. Kill a cock. Uh, which is another Slayer monster. Obviously, you dummy. Uh, teleport Lumberjet. There we go. I mean, we already kind of have that. So, it's kind of like the one teleport. It's kind of like whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because, you know, I can already teleport the telekinetic grab, which is useful in some situations. Telekinesis, man. Is essentially what it is. Um... So I'm still happy to get teleport to Lumbridge, but still that's like the number one that's like the one spell I'm just going like, eh. Six, 16 vampires. These things are level 61. And also some of the video breaks here a bit. They dropped a Ranner seed for me, which is worth 30,000 gold, which is amazing. Sorry, so I don't know why some of the videos broke here. I have no idea why, man. I'm sorry. Um I actually got a second Ranner seed drop. Uh later I didn't bother recording it since I already showed it, but um, since I already showed the one, it's kind of like, oh. But it, I was very happy to get those. They're pretty rare. Um, so that boosted my bank quite a bit and gives me some money. But anyways, that's all the highlights. I got bats right at the end again, because, you know, screw me, right? Um, thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't uh, liked the video yet, please do. I love you guys so much. I will be streaming this real soon again, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>